Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley with Broadway Church. Uh, happy Father's Day to you fathers out there. Just uh, a blessing to all men who are trying to live as God, uh, God has showed us to live. I want to talk about my dad for a little bit. But first let me read to you a couple of verses here. It's my son, Proverbs 1, chapter 2, 1 and 2. My son, if you receive my words and treasure up my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding. Now it goes on from there. It says, if you do these things, if you incline your heart, if your heart, if your ear attends, well, means good things are going to happen, that you can seek after wisdom, that there has been, to a, a, in a lot of our lives, examples set. Now I can remember uh, this being my dad. See, it's got LRW on there on the plaque, on the plaque, Lloyd Rodney Wheeler. Uh, somebody gave him a nice pen to go with it. It goes right in there it's to sit on the desk and look nice. Uh, quite possibly he might have been retiring when somebody gave him this. I'm just not sure. Just from the things that were gathered up as we as we closed up the house, I'd, I'd save that. You know, Dad was a guy who worked at a desk, and uh, you know he was even a bookkeeper. You know what? Let's let's just take one aspect of that, because mostly you could say, well, you know, saying my dad's a bookkeeper was not to say my dad is a doctor. My my dad is a surgeon and saves lives. No, but a bookkeeper is about the truth. You know what? You want more people with a big reputation? You want more people with, with a, a lot to say about themselves? Or do you want more people who are about the truth? Well, Dad was about the truth. Now, now uh, he would have been the first to admit that, that, that you know, he needed a Savior in Jesus, just like I need a Savior in Jesus. And sins to be sorry for... Uh, good things to aspire for, people to love that you're going to try to love most. And that's what the Proverbs verse says. You know, if you attend, if you listen, if you, if you seek after, well, what will happen? Well, for some of us, we might be the men our father were, fathers were. Uh, we might also be people, and we will be people, who express Christ in our lives. That is what really is hoped for from men and from women today. Thank you, fathers. Thank you, all those who have done the work of being fathers. Thank you, children, for making a fuss over us. And be blessed this Father's Day. Amen.